And here's a Brett. Big one. Very tarnished. I see a piece of hair here. Somebody had it in their hair. And it's very magnetic. Now these, this is a pair of earrings. I think they're as cute as can be. Listen to them. They tinkle. Tinkle. Oh, well, I don't know if that's such a good, good word to use or not. <laughs> they make sound. They little have like little chimes. Very safari. You got your lions and tigers. And what is that? A cougar? Or a leopard? Lions and tigers and leopards and cougars. Oh no, it must be a leopard. Lions, tigers, and leopards. Listen. Just love the noise those make. Those are pretty little earrings. Well taken care of in their little box here, in their little bag, I mean. Okay. We have a coin. Naval Reserve, stay strong. There's the wave for the Navy. Here's the other part. It's kind of cool. Here is a snowman. Needs cleaning. He's two tone in color. He can be a pendant or a pin. Right. I'm going to jump out, but I'm afraid I'm going to have a spill of beads, so I'm going to go offline a second. And I was right. Here's one thing that came out. I'm not sure what it is. Looks like a scarf clip, maybe. Doesn't come undone. Our scarf, you know, to put around your scarf, very heavy though. I would think it would fall off unless you somehow knotted it. Very, very heavy, but not magnetic. So it could be pewter. Oops, wait, there's something written inside here. Let's see what it says. Looks like ES. If I can see it from this end. Hmm. got some writing in there, but I just can't make it out. So I'm going to set this aside. These two little tack pins came out. Children first. And then the little uh, guardian angel. Those are pretty. Then you get oddball stuff, just so you can appreciate opening up a what opening up a jar is like. I got candy wrapper and I got a little teeny rubber band and a pill so far so how about that don't even know what kind that will go and be disposed of properly here's the cuff link but it doesn't have a match I'll put it with the earrings oh this is cute I like this a lot it's got a signature on it know what it says looks like a bunch of numbers to me let me read it Do the loop nine nine 
It's like D8. I don't know. Who knows? It's gold tone, but look. Isn't that adorable? Cute little pumpkin pen. And I can't get that. Let's see if I can let y'all see it. See, it looks like 9S58. Who knows? Very cute pen. Here's a ring. I believe it is a costume ring. Looks like faux um, purple turquoise. It's pretty. We'll take the red one off. And we'll put the purple one on. There you go. These are all my size. Hmm. Here's a... Either a bone ring... Some kind of carved ring. There's the inside. Oops. And there it goes. I'm getting my exercise bending today. Oh. There we go. And I don't know what the carvings of. I haven't figured that out yet. Just not sure. So there you go. Next piece put these up. is a stretchy bracelet. And it's done in the antique silver tone and then the brighter silver tone with little CZs sprinkled throughout. It's a little big on me. Or it could be that it's stretched out. I don't know. Pretty though. Everything is there. Ooh, we have some pretty beads. Let's see if I can pull these out and I'll show them to you. They are from Fire Mountain Gems. They're Swarovski Amethyst. Look at there. Beautiful, huh? Yeah, those are nice. Those are crystals for sure. Nice crystals. Put them in here. Fire Mountain Gems. Here's another bag, but it doesn't have anything in it. So we'll save it to put something in it. Here's another coin. Looks like some pirate thing, place. Scoundrels. Nineteen ninety-eight. Who knows? Here's a stick pen with the flag. Here's the back. Here's some matching earrings. They're angel wings. And they're on French wires. And here's the backs. They're in perfect condition. So I'll put them over here with the other set. 
have some more bangles. These two, one smaller than the other, in silver tone and gold tone. I have this pretty little bracelet. Very cute design. It's a stretchy. I like that. Very pretty. That feels cold. So I think we have a mix of stone and acrylic on that, or glass and acrylic. Here's some more stuff coming rolling out. Put all the bead stuff over here. This piece of wire with the bead on it. Here is a little charm that looks like it's gold. It's palm trees. It's got diamond cutting on it. And it says 14 karat. And it is gold. So now we have gold and silver from this bag. This too shall pass, little coin. Keep your faith, keep it strong. What is that saying? It says nothing is ever too hard to do if your uh, faith is true and your purpose strong. So never give up and never stop. Just keep on climbing the mountaintop. I used to tell that to myself a lot. Here's a little braided cloth bracelet with the little extension. It's very cute. Red. Got some metallic thread. No, this is chain. I'm sorry. Actual chain braided with it so if you're going through a tough time just keep your faith and keep moving forward as best you can nothing ever is too hard to do if your faith is true and your purpose strong so never so never give up and never stop just keep on climbing to the mountaintop Here's a little post earrings, a match. I love it when they put it on these. And you know, you can buy the little shapes and things from Michaels. I think I'm gonna go buy me a bunch of those and put my earrings on them. Cause it does such a nice cushion. Here's some more beautiful beads. These are Swarovski white opal and they are um, from Fire Mountain Gems again. Look at that. Somebody gave up their beautiful beads. They're cold, cold. Awesome. This is a $22 tag off of something. What? We don't know. It's a mystery. More beads. More single earrings. I'm needing a bigger thing for my single earrings. Oh, come back, come back. Don't you roll on the floor. I caught it. Yippee. Caught that one in time. A stitch in time saves nine. If you're a sewer, you can appreciate that saying. Here is... It looks like a cuff. But it's actually a um, stretchy. It's got your dark metal and then your um, pretty white clear rhinestones and a floral design. It's in good shape. And more single earrings. I'm matching those up in a little bit. Here's a bracelet. It looked like it had South Carolina on there. It's very tarnished. I don't know if it's silver or if it's just, yeah, it's not magnetic. So we're gonna test this for silver. 
and see what we come up with. But it's not marked. And now we have a larger rubber band. Sometimes I'd like to make up a jar of all this oddball stuff I get and take it back to Goodwill and say, look what, look what you gave me in my jewelry jar. Especially the ones with broken glass. Here's a pad off an of earring, I think. Who knows? This is a beautiful glass beaded bracelet. And I am in love. I love these sparkly rainbow colored stones. I love to wear them. I just love them. I don't know why. I think they're so pretty. They mesmerize me, I guess. Here's a little charm with the rhinestone that's prong set. In great condition. And another little charm here, a little sand dollar. Let's see if there's anything on the back. Come on. Is that anything on the back? Let's see if it's magnetic. No, it's not, so it might be a sterling silver charm, so we'll set it to the side. Sheesh. Oh, look at that. That's acrylic, though, and it's a bead because it's got the holes. That's cool. Goes in the bead lot. I'm trying to figure out what this is. Well, I know it's a strawberry, but I don't know. That's not a bell. So I don't know. It's a charm. I'm just going to call it a charm, strawberry charm. More beads. Ooh, we have more Swarovski. Oh yeah, these are ice cold. And they're beautiful. Can you see them through the bag? No, it's ugly through the bag. The bag dulls their beautiful shine. I'll pour some out on my hand. Ooh, and I'm not gonna pour them all out, but look at that beautiful amethyst color. Can you see it? Those are gorgeous. There's a lot of them. Oh, I heard something drop. I hope it wasn't one of those. I don't think it was. Oh, here's one that's left out. Might have been. I'll have to go looking. It's hard to find them on these wood, this wooden floor because it's so variegated in color. Oh, here's one of those freeform necklaces that you can shape any way you want. Make a piece of art around your neck. Anyway, those are cool. Here's another bangle with some beading on it. Here is a pretty little anchor bracelet. Very dainty. I like it. Let's see if it's magnetic. It is, but it's still cute. It's in good shape. My grandson should be coming any minute now. Dalton, he can finish helping me open this up. I know he gets into it. If I don't get it finished before he gets here, here's that. I thought it was a stick pin, but look, it's two tack pins. So I love the little angels. That's cool. Fuzz. 
bag, some single earrings. Here's a, I think a watch face that screws on. We'll see what we find. Set it aside. Oh, look at this amethyst um, bear. I'm trying to see. I don't see any any holes in it to make it um, a pendant. So it's just a bear. An amethyst shape. I love that. Love it. I like the Native American jewelry or pieces that remind me of Native American. Here is a clamper bracelet. It's got rhinestones in it and then your smooth silver on red enamel. It's in great shape. I don't see any markings. I don't readily see any missing rhinestones either. That's in great shape. And it's not magnetic. So I'm gonna test it for silver. It's very heavy. Here's a pretty little pendant. Cat's eye. Very pretty. Here's another little charm. It says JS. I this may be a Jessica Simpson hang tie that I, that I can use as a charm on the bracelet I plan to make with uh, Maker's hang tags. I just want to do that. I think it would be a cool bracelet. Here's another little pendant that's missing something on the front. It's in great shape. Looks like it's got a little signature here. I don't know what it says though. Is that Monet? Roman. R-O-M-A-N, Roman but it's missing whatever was in the center there. Here's a little ring I thought might be um, opals, but if it is, they're not very colorful. It might be milk glass, I don't know. Let's see what the writing is on the inside. I can't read it. Sometimes my loop can't get into the ring to read things. That irritates me to death. Let's try the other part. Still looking, guys. I don't know. I don't know. Trying, it's trying. I still can't read it. I can make out a GE, so it tells me it's electroplated. There's the gallery on that. That's the gallery, is this part around here? 
the way it sits. And they do look like opals to me. Very milky op opals. Let's see if I can read this thing again. I'm going to try one more time. Fourteen carat gold electroplated. That's what it says. So that's fourteen carat gold electroplated. There's that honker ring I was talking about. Silver tone, it's a stretchy ring. The metal on it is antiqued. There's the back. It's in good shape. Very ornate. Wow. Now here's a honker. That's glass. Glass and CZs. Beautifully cut. It is... I don't know that I see a mark in here. Here's the back. It's big on me. Especially when you have a ring this size, you want it to fit right because if you don't, it's always going to be falling over like that. So, wow. That is a real shiner. Oh, this is beautiful. It's Angel. It's Approach. Here's the back. It's in great shape, but look at the mother of pearl in this. Isn't that gorgeous in the star she's holding? I love this. Very pretty. The pen itself has wear on it. Makes no difference to me. But it may make a difference if you go to sell it. I don't know if it makes a difference in the way the pen slides on your clothing too. It doesn't feel rough. I mean, that may be able to... Oh, that's cleaning off of my thumb. Wow. It's cleaning right up. Look at there. So, all that may just clean right up. Very nice. Very pretty angel pen. I like the angel pens we're getting in here. A lot. Here's one of those seat belt buckle bracelets. I don't know who wears those. Uh, young men, young women, youth. I don't know. Here's a barrette. It looks like it's in a rose gold color. Looks new. Doesn't look like it's been worn. Let me get this separated out. Between earring and matching earrings and beads. Here's a wooden bangle and a really pretty pink marbly bangle. this. I guess it's a pendant, but it's little ladybugs. Isn't that cute? And there's the little 
guess you could slide a necklace through there or make a bracelet. I don't know what it is. Oh. There you go. Believe. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. Isn't that sweet? That was in the jewelry jar, and it's not broke, so that's fine with me. I love angels. I like the angels in the slot. Makes me happy. There's a pretty little sparkly gold tone bangle. Very gold tone. Sticky paper. Yeah. Whoa. I don't know what these are. Body piercing things? Spencer Gifts. Body Rage Jewelry. Made in China. I don't wear body jewelry like that. And I don't encourage it. Let's see. This is a brass bangle with enamel. Pretty green color. And then here's another little bangle. I don't know if it's magnetic. It's not, but I can see copper coming through. So it's copper and silver bangle. Look at these tiny, teeny, weeny little bangles. I'm not sure. I guess they're kids bangles, but there's a ton of them. this out and maybe that will keep them from rolling on the floor. Let's build a barrier here with necklaces. Okay, we have this little stretchy ring. It's got a southwestern design. It's worn on the back. So somebody enjoyed it. This is pretty. It looks like Claussonne. with the enameling and the gold in there. 